Booleans versus speed booleans, which are faster? This question comes up quite often when I'm uh, talking with different users and there really isn't one answer. Uh, I would say that they're both just as fast depending on the type of workflow that you work with. Let's take a look at both of them so that we can get a better understanding about how each one works. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the construct tab where we'll find both boolean and speed boolean. And um, right now, I ha what I have set up is in layer one, I have this object that we see here in OpenGL shaded view. And in the background, I have this object. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in the background view. Now, this is the setup that you need if you're going to deal with uh, traditional Booleans. If we want to uh, use any of the four types of booleans we're going to need to have an object in the background which I like to refer to as the cutter and we're going to need to have the our actual object the object that we're working on in the foreground layer so I'm going to go ahead and come over to boolean which the shortcut key is shift B but let's go ahead and click boolean and we have four options I'm going to start with subtract that by default we would have uh, subtract selected and I'm going to go ahead and choose that and as we can see if I just click on layer one we can see we've cut the cutter object that was in the background layer in layer two out of our object in layer one I'm going to go ahead and undo control Z put that back in the background layer go back to boolean and let's try intersect with intersect where the two pieces of geometry meet, that geometry will remain and everything else will go away. So here's the example of that right here. Go ahead and undo. Drop that back in the background layer. And let's take a look at another one, Boolean. Let's do Union. With Union, it takes both the foreground and background layer and joins them together. Now I want you to take a close look at what's going on in the top view. We can see right down the center there's no geometry running through here. We can also see it here in the side view. There's no geometry running through. So any geometry that we wouldn't see that would be buried within this shape, uh, that goes away. It just removes it. And this is important so that we can un to understand so that we can understand what's going on, what's the difference between union and add. Let's undo, drop it in the background again, and let's choose Boolean, add. Okay, now in texture view, everything looks the same uh, comparing it to union, but comparing it uh, in wireframe we can see it didn't remove any of the geometry that was extra geometry that we we didn't need you can see right here in the center all this extra geometry okay so add just adds the two pieces together whereas union adds the two pieces together and gets rid of any geometry that we won't see okay so let's go ahead and undo and that's a, a brief look at how the traditional booleans work. We have an object in the foreground, object in the background, and we can choose between these four options uh, for what type of operation we're going to actually perform. Now let's take a look at speed booleans. Uh, for this setup, I'm going to jump over here to layer 5, where I have both the base object and what we'll use as the cutter in the same layer. Now this is one of the key reasons why booleans and speed booleans are so different is that with speed booleans you don't put the cutting object right here you don't put that in a separate layer in the background everything's in one layer in the foreground layer but what you do need to do is select the geometry that you want to use as the cutter. Once you have that selected you can come over here to speed boolean and you'll get the same options that you got before and one additional one which is cancel uh, but you have union subtract intersect and add if I go ahead and choose subtract we can see it does the exact same thing and it does it in the exact same speed it's no faster than a boolean it's just the workflow is different and some people might say that that's what makes it faster is that you don't have to put something in the background layer you you 
just have to put it in the foreground layer and select it, which is, to me, is really not any faster of an operation, unless what you're considering is faster is that with the Boolean operation, the cutter still remains in, in the back, where it was in the background layer. Well, it's still there. You would have to delete that if you didn't want that geometry, whereas with a speed Boolean, you would have to, um, you don't have to delete it, except you lose your cutter. So if you wanted to use that exact same shape again to um, cut another hole, you'd have to recreate it. So that could go either way. That could take longer if you have to recreate your cutter because you lose it. Um, or it could take longer if you want to, um, to delete the cutter in the background layer from a regular Boolean. For me, I prefer to keep a copy of my cutter so I can always go back and reuse it or um, use it for, you know, if I want to use it for something else or if I want to see what went, wrong, what went right or what went wrong whenever I was performing the operation. I'm going to go ahead and undo. Okay. I'm going to keep that selected. One thing I want to point out is that if we go over to speed boolean, we don't actually have to click the button. Once this panel is up, we can use the shortcut keys. We have U for union, S for subtract, I for intersect, and A for add, and then the escape key for cancel. This allows us not have to go over and click on the button to perform the operation. So if I wanted to use subtract, I could hit S and it subtracts. One less step of going over and clicking the button. I also have the ability, I'm going to go ahead and undo, come back here. I also have the ability to bypass that panel uh, by clicking on one of these buttons. We have SP bool add, SP bool int, SP bool sub, SP bool union. That's basically speed boolean add, speed boolean intersect, speed boolean subtract, and speed boolean union. So you don't even have to open up the panel. I could just click subtract. Okay, and then that could be faster than using even the, the base speed boolean. If you want, you can set up custom shortcut keys for these, and you never even have to go over and click on the button. So there's a lot of different ways of working with speed booleans versus working with booleans. Again, I would say that whether one is faster than the other, the actual calculation time, uh, there is no difference. Uh, but it's the workflow that could make a difference in whether one is faster than the other. There are a few things that you can do to speed up your Boolean operations, whether you're using a speed Boolean or uh, a traditional Boolean. And uh, let's talk about some of those. I'm going to go ahead and deselect. And let's jump over to layer one and put layer two in the background. Now, whether you're using traditional Booleans or speed Booleans, if you select the areas that are be the polygons that are going to be affected, it doesn't have to use the geometry that's not going to be affected in the calculation. So you can speed up the, um, the operation by doing that. If you're going to be dealing with ingon, so say the top here, if you have an ingon, in, in this case, there's 24 points. There's not that many points, but an ingon being uh, a, a polygon that has more than, than uh, four points, so five points or more. Uh, if you have an ingon, say, that was created from a spline, so say we've got an ingon like this, and we freeze it to create uh, a polygon. Well, this has got 219 points, and we're looking at one big flat poly. Now, at render time, it's got to calculate triangles. So it's going to split all these up into a bunch of triangles. Well, if you're going to perform a Boolean operation, it's going to, in the background, it's going to convert it to triangles. It's going to perform the operation, and, uh, and then it's going to convert it back to an ingon. Well, one way that you can speed up this operation would be to triple this polygon. Okay, so if we triple it, it's going to take a second. But if we were to perform the Boolean operation on this, it would be much faster because it doesn't have to calculate the tripling portion of the operation. So that's one thing that I found that have, has really sped up Boolean operations no matter which type of Boolean I'm using. So that might come in handy for, for you in the future. Some things you might want to avoid when doing Boolean operations. Uh, Booleans don't like 
polygons on top of polygons. So you're going to want to avoid polygons on top of polygons. You're also going to want to avoid one and two point polys. It's just something that it doesn't know what to, to, to do when it encounters it. So you'll want to avoid it um, as, uh, as much as possible. So remember that there is no difference between a Boolean and a speed Boolean as far as speed goes, only workflow. And we want to avoid one and two point polys and polygons on top of polygons. We're also going to, if we want to speed up the operations, we're going to want to triple in GONs. We can always merge them back when we're done. And we can also select the areas that are going to be affected, and that would speed up our Boolean operations as well. So I hope this has uh, been helpful, and I hope this will dispel any rumor that one Boolean type is faster than the other. It all comes down to workflow.